Good morning. This is Paul Petrov, and you are listening to episode number 14 of the morning show for managers. The topic for today is daily team alignment. The daily team alignment makes sense to be done regularly every single day at two levels emotional and rational. So, what does it mean emotional and rational level? Emotional level, it shows how people are feeling and what is the energy level in the team. And the rational level, it shows the current priorities, the workload levels and the business critical tasks that should be turned around by the end of the day. That's it. Emotional and rational level. No team has uh, has ever failed because one day things didn't go well. Team failures and successes for that matter result from systematic and constant actions that are repeated over and over again. One such action that should be done every single day is the alignment of the team. Alignment means that all people on the team have the same understanding of the current priorities. Everyone should know what is expected of him and respectively what he can expect of from others. The daily team alignment is straightforward to do. And for the same reason, we often miss it. Just because it is straightforward and because the result of one or two misses can remain unnoticed. But the same results begin to be seen very clearly when the misses become systematic. There is a relevant analogy with going to the gym. If you miss a workout, you will not notice much difference. You may even feel better because instead of training, you have rested or done some, or have done something else. It is the same with the daily team alignment. If you miss once or twice, there is no much difference in the work. Even people uh, who have freed up a little more time to catch up with their workloads and they feel better. But with the gym and with the daily alignment, the problem is not one one miss. The problem is when it becomes a leak every week. So you see that I'm here. The problem is when it becomes a leak every week. And notice that this happens gradually, little by little, until at some point it turns out that the team hardly gets together and everything is done on the go. The work will not stop suddenly, but it will reach a turning point where it will suddenly get worse. This will be the point where a few people are a little more overwhelmed, a little more nervous and a bit too tired. Just a little is enough to get to where the model work, the worse the situation. The scenario is not apocalyptic, but just realistic. As soon as the people in the team start wondering where they had gone wrong, it is time for taking a break and for some analysis. It is not a time to jump to conclusions. In the daily alignment, people will get to know not only their working colleagues, but also themselves. They will understand that the rational laws that they have studied in the universities rarely work at the micro level in their teams. For example, economic logic does not suggest that the manager would prefer to change position and work for less money, but this happens and it happens often. Managers change positions and go to work for less money and sometimes even longer hours uh, for some irrational reasons. Irrationality is not characteristic (laughs) only uh, of the people that you work with. It is also characteristic of you. Think about how many of your career moves were rational and how many were completely emotional and without any sound logic. And more importantly, what resulted from the different types of decisions? You may now realize that the best moves in your career have been entirely irrational and emotional, but yet they felt right. 
One typical disadvantage of the daily alignment is that it becomes a routine and does not get to the conversation's heart. At one point, people may perform the alignment like a pro forma and the entire team may suffer. Of course, this cannot happen without the help of the manager of this team. So if you notice a sluggish or a pro forma presence, there is no room to ignore it. Address it directly and respectfully. There will be days when someone or even yourself uh, is at 50-60% of your capacity. Do not sweep things under the rug. If someone is not in a resourceful state to do their job, make some changes for the day. There is no sense to work at half speed. It is like driving a car with only half cylinders working. When you make sure the cylinders and everything else is in order, it is time to race. And in the end of the podcast, I will invite you to first to answer to yourself, what is the energy level? On a scale from 1 to 10, your energy level when you go to the daily meetings. And on a scale from 1 to 10, what is the energy level of the team. Ask yourself, ask the people in the team daily team alignment meeting, just observe it and just the sheer effect of observing it will raise it a little bit. I will not ask you for anything else to do, just to observe it. What is the energy level when you go to the meeting? And what is the energy level of the people in the meeting? And just ask and see what happens there. What is going to happen probably will surprise you because typically people do not ask uh, such type of questions. But everything that happens in the meeting is a function of the energy of the people and especially the energy of the manager. So that's it for today. Daily team alignment. You can go online and buy my book called Shower for Managers on Amazon and Apple Books and also my second book, Park Your Ego, on Amazon and Apple Books. That's it for today. Until next time.